Ferrari, we're going to talk about the resource factor and how it relates to our health status and our relationships. Okay, so what is the resource factor? The resource factor is a protein on the red blood cell of all human beings. And this resource factor is part of the ABO name and ABO blood grouping system, which we all know. Some people have A, B, and O, A, B, and blood groups. But we all realize that usually they say A plus, B minus, A minus, and all those things. The plus and the minus on it is the resource factor. Meaning that when you have the positive, it means you have the protein on your red blood cell. But if you do not have it, I mean if you have negative, you have the, you do not have the resource factor on your red blood cell. Basically that. So, um, problems might arise with this um, resource factors during pregnancy. In the sense that during pregnancy, if the mom is resource negative and the child is resource positive, maybe the mom is a negative but the child is a positive problems will arise this is called resource incompatibility these resource factors are usually passed down from our parents to us okay and in pregnancy with the mom being negative and the child being positive in pregnancy problems might arise when the blood happens to mix and we all know that during pregnancy the mom's blood and the baby's blood does not mix it's only when maybe there is trauma to the abdomen during pregnancy or there's an abortion or even during that childbirth that's when the blood can mix so in view of this usually in the first pregnancy there are not severe complications but it's usually seen in subsequent pregnancies okay these complications arise because the mother's blood views that resource positive blood to be a foreign body hence if your mom like the bo um, her body will start to make antibodies to fight against that antigen that it sees as a foreign body okay the mother's antibodies just passes through her placenta into the baby so this is where there will be something we call agglutination which will cause clotting and when you know when your blood starts to clot it's going to prevent oxygen from being um, circulated efficiently in your body and this can cause anemia in the baby and that's how come subsequent deliveries are not successful so after all this discussion we realized that it's a very serious thing to um, have a resource incompatibility situation but then all hope is not lost in the sense that the world has come up with something called resource immunoglobin which can be given 28 weeks into the pregnancy okay to stop the body from producing those antibodies okay or it can be given 72 hours after a resource positive baby has been born okay and also if you are having your first pregnancy and you happen to have maybe a trauma or anything that could cause the blood to mix in your body you can also be given this resource immunoglobin okay if it happens to be that you've already produced this resource antibodies ready to attack your resource and um, antigen baby also um, what can be done is that the, the baby will be checked to know if the baby has already started getting the anemia we spoke about in the beginning severe anemia if the baby has severe anemia blood can be transfused or the woman will have to deliver before her delivery date but if the anemia is mild we can um, safely watch the woman till she delivers and then we transfuse the baby with fresh red blood cells so i encourage everyone in love everyone like at all to just check their risk like be aware of your blood group check your resource factors and know before you enter any relationship or before you start any relationship to avoid any complication okay. so this is the pmv show don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you in another video. bye